Seven Biblical Ideas That Tyrants Hate 1. God Will Humble Every Proud National Leader I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol, and honor, the King of Heaven. For all his works are right and his ways are just, and those who walk in pride he is able to humble. 2. All the rich will pay for the frauds they have committed against the poor. The wages of the laborers who mowed your fields, which you kept back by fraud, are crying out against you, and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. 3. All nations will one day become subject to the kingship of God's Messiah. The seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying, Their kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. 4. Those who learn truth get free from tyrants' lies. If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. 5. Get free of tyrants if you can. If you can gain your freedom, avail yourself of the opportunity. You were bought with a price. Do not become bond servants of men. 6. Every unrepentant human being will be judged for his personal sins. As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then each of us will give an account of himself to God. 7. No religion and no human being can save us from hell. By the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men, by which we must be saved. Procure a copy of the Holy Bible in a language that you understand before tyrants have it banned in your country. <laughs>